Hi guys, you're all welcome to another interesting episode of the program. And as you know, I'm your host at Daysua, aka Miss Sunshine. And as usual, I'm not alone on set. I have with me a really good looking lady who is both an Hollywood actress and a film producer. She's Chika Okereke. How are you doing? I'm doing alright. Oh, she has a really cute smile. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so I'm just gonna let you introduce, uh, introduce to us everything you do. We know you're an actress and a film producer. What else do you do aside from Oh, that? this is basically what I do. I'm an actress, I'm a film producer, and also a script writer. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, how yeah. long have you been doing it? Ever since 2006. Oh, that's a long time. Yeah. Okay, did you start as, as an actress and then dabbled into film production? Yes. Or Okay, and then I started as an actress. Okay, and then I, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you always have a way of dabbling. Yes, I have, I, and and then I went into um, film production, okay. and ever since then I have been there. Okay, I'm, I'm, I've been there. I'm how how has producer. it been? Oh, how wonderful! It been? Okay. It's been wonderful. Film producing is really um, is 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 a, a big deal if you ask me, because okay. it takes a lot from you, your energy, your time, and everything. But it's interesting. Okay. It's interesting. Yes. How, how many movies have you produced since? When you so far, I can say ten movies. Wow, that's a lot. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that's quite quite a lot. That's yeah. quite a lot. Oh, mm -hmm. great! You're actually doing great. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um. You 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 were actively involved in the Actors Guild of Nigeria. That's the yes. River State chapter. Yes. Can you just tell us a bit about that? Oh, you know about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You really, really, really check out some <laughs> stuff about me. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm with the Actors Guild of Nigeria River State Chapter. Mm -hmm. I am the special advisor to the now chairman on production mm -hmm. and international related matters. Mm -hmm. I was also a, a, an essay, which is special advisor mm -hmm. to the past chairman. Oh, wow. And even the Association of Movie Producers, River State Chapter, mm -hmm. I'm his also a special advisor on production. Looks like you know a lot about production, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> because because ten years is not a joke. It, it's not a joke. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. Yeah. Okay. Um, can you just give us a few of the movies that you have been in? So we're going to just look out for it. From oh, on. so many. I've been the ones I produced and the ones I, you know, I took part in other people's movie because, like I said, I'm also an actress, so mm -hmm. people hire me for their own jobs. Okay. I started with um, Blood Tide. Okay. And then I did the uh, Shin Convenant. Um, Escape from Prison, okay. Bianca the Devil. It oh, was so really? Big, but <laughs> this really announced me that that movie. Yeah. I don't play with it. <laughs> <laughs> My beginnings, yeah. yeah. And ever since then, I've been into so many movies, okay. so many movies. Okay. Yeah, I can't mention them Okay, all. so mm. you you went from acting to movie production. W mm. Was it because the you were making so much money in acting, or movie production was a, a passion? Well, let me let me rephrase. Like. Are you in the business of acting in movies for the passion or to just make money out of it? You know? Oh, both. Okay. <laughs> so, was it just for the passion? I, I like the answer. No, both. I, like both. I, yeah. I have passion for my work. Okay. But I also want to make a lot of money out of <laughs> movie making. And I tell you, I am doing that. Because if, if you don't make the money, how are you going to go to the next level? True. How are True. you going to make the next movie? And, you know. So, I'm into both. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I'll, I'll quote... There's a woman, Rebecca Moye, mm -hmm. you know about, about the lady, she's um, uh, a great woman. Mm -hmm. And in Johnson's book, uh, Cyprian Johnson, The Million Dollar Money Zone, yeah. is a Nollywood Million Dollar Money Zone. Okay. In that book she said that if you're in the business of um, making movies and not making money, it's game for you. <laughs> it means you're not serious. And I'm a serious-minded person, so <laughs> I have passion for my work, and I mean to making money. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. As the Igbo woman that you are now. Uh huh. Woman. You know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um, let's let's go a bit into Nollywood now. Um, like I always ask um, mm. every time I talk to um an actress, an actor, Nollywood person, okay. Nollywood. I always ask them. Nollywood has actually come a long way. Like, mm -hmm. it's come a long way. It has progressed mm -hmm. so far. Like, it's now the third biggest movie-making industry in the world. And the second. Oh, when it's it comes second. to second. Yeah, you see? Mm -hmm. So, but you still have some hitches and challenges. You ask some people, they tell you it's a problem with location. You ask. So, what to you, what's the biggest challenge? That I, I tell you, the biggest point? is the marketing. That's the, you know, and the, 
and piracy. Oh. Piracy has been a huge challenge, you know, we've, we've all been trying to see how we can make this go away, but as I tell you, I don't know. I, I don't know, most uh, guild, uh, guild heads and um, association heads have come together to talk about it, to see if there's a way that we can really take our jobs out, you know, to cinema. Because in the cinema, you see that it's, it's kind of um, not so easy for to them dub, to yeah. come in, to dub, to pirate your yeah. movie. And even before your movie goes into the market, the public market, yeah, you must have made, made your, your money. money. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's our focus right now. If we can get people focusing on you know doing cinema movies mm -hmm. and all that it, it really uh, take this industry to but but what's the know. problem though why why is it has it been difficult over the years okay you have look some a few producers actually doing cinema movies now but yeah, why sure. why is it that it, it's still so difficult to actually get nollywood movies to like a cinema standard and all that yeah funding oh okay. that's the major thing also <laughs> funding you know if if we can get really government to come into th this work, what we do, come into Nollywood, embrace us and be part of what we do, um, it will take Nollywood to a, a greater height. I tell you, um, people will be making cinema movies, like you said. It's not easy for an independent producer to come up with a cinema movie. The standard is high. Yeah. It's a lot of money, so it's not that easy. <laughs> but we are getting it's so good. We're getting, getting <laughs> We're getting there. Okay, coming back to you now. You are supposed to be in France sometime oh, yeah. in the month to mm, talk about... Um, June 2nd. Okay. Yeah. To actually talk about like foreign market about Nollywood. Can you just give us mm, a little bit? To talk thing? about, you know, specifically on um, Nollywood in Nigeria and its impact on the uh, citizens. Okay. And, and also Africa in diaspora. Uh, yes, that's what I'm going to lecture about. You so, want to hear about it? Now? Yeah. So, as in how it's how a long knowledge, lecture, okay? Uh, in just just in just <laughs> in a few a words, lecture. yeah. <laughs> well, in a few words, though, just mm. give us how do you think Nollywood has actually impacted Nigeria, the Nigerian economy as it is? It has, like you know, Nollywood is um the industry is is the second largest employer of labor okay. after the oil and gas. Nollywood is doing great in the lives of the individual in people in, in Nigeria. In, in, you know, we've been able to get everybody involved in Nollywood, the educated, the non-educated, uh, the, I tell you, less privilege. I'll use that word. Yes, everybody is in Nollywood, even the newborn babies, the middle age, the elderly ones, they are, the youth, everybody's involved. And Nollywood is employing everybody. Okay. Because yeah. when you look at our stories, they all needed. They yeah. all part of this life, yeah. part, part of what we do, the culture, tradition, and all that. So we need everybody, and everybody is actually there. Okay. So Nollywood is doing great. It's okay. really impacting in the lives of people. Okay. Lastly, before I let you go, you, 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 it's still about Nollywood employer being the mm. biggest employer of labor. Mm. But don't you think because second, second, okay, don't mm. you think because you have so many people in this industry, that's why some persons are actually not making so much. Because I know about actors that have been in the industry for a long time and they they still make. No, pennies, it's not yeah. like that. It's, you know, Nollywood as an industry is not just a company where people come in, they are employed and they stay over the years. No, is 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 like this. You could have a job that will last for a month or two months. And then you get someone employed to do the work for you. A director of photography, a technical director, a sound person and all that. You know, it goes on and on like that. And the actors and, you know, mm -hmm. when you get them involved, it's going to last just like the one month you plan. Mm -hmm. So the, the contracts last just one month. Mm -hmm. So people get employed for a month and then they go away and go for another job mm -hmm. after. So it's not like... It's, it's not that that's the problem that Nollywood okay. is facing because okay. so many people are involved in Nollywood. Okay. No, that's not the point. Okay. That's not it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, I, I, there's a lot to actually be said, but I have to let you go because time is not okay. on our side. But I hope I can have you some other time so we can mm. talk. Yes, when I'm like, back from France. Maybe, yeah, when you're back. Yeah. I'll come you're... tell you all about the project. Yes. Are you going to bring experience goodies now? for me too, right? Uh, okay. <laughs> I will. I will. As long as you keep in touch. Of I'll course I will. Of course, of course I will. Thank you so much for coming. It's been such an amazing time.
time having me. Thank you for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, thank you guys for sticking with me. And like I always say before I go, do not forget to join us on all of our social media platforms. The details of all of that is on the scroll bar down below. And you can follow me on Instagram at P H Y C E and on Twitter it's M Z at day so mm -hmm. and you can look up my guest at www.chikaokirike.com. So I come your way next time from me and my guest. It's bye bye.